Hello, my name is Janice Cripps and this is a short video showing you how to winter prune your wisteria. It's the last week in January and the timing is absolutely perfect. This wisteria is about 20 years old. It has the potential to cover the whole of the front of the house, but as you can see here it's been kept much smaller and more compact. I don't know what variety it is, but I know it's a Japanese wisteria because the flowers and the leaves come out at the same time. With Japanese wisterias, the vines twist around the stem in a clockwise direction. If it was Chinese, the vines would twist in an anti-clockwise direction. I want to keep this wisteria small, framing the porch as it is now. I want to keep it at its existing height, not only for appearance's sake, but because it will be easy to maintain and trim back wayward stems in summer. The plant looks rather congested in the middle here, so that's got to be thinned out. And stems growing upwards have to be taken back. I want to discourage upward growth next year. Before you start pruning anything, make sure that your sectors are clean and sharp. Otherwise you risk tearing branches and damaging the plant and then making it susceptible to all sorts of infection. Check that the plant is securely tied against the wall this is really important with something as heavy as wisteria. The first step, as with any pruning, is to remove dead or decaying wood and any stems or branches that are weak or unwanted. You want to maintain an attractive shape. So if you're doing this on your own, stand back from time to time and view your handiwork. The next step is to look for the fat round buds because these are the ones that produce the flowers in spring. The flatter ones produce just leaves. My advice is to prune back to two buds. So count up two buds from the branch to the stem and then make your cut. Always cut on a slant at about a 45 degree angle. This is important as rainwater slides off a slanted cut rather than sits there and invites disease. I'm using secateurs made by Felcro and I've invested in some loppers. These are really useful for tackling high branches. And here is the finished result. I hope you found this video useful. Now I'm looking forward to a fabulous display of flowers in spring and I'll keep you updated.